It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with the man with the plan, chief investment officer, and happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious, really beginning of uh, April, I would say, weekend? Well, Ryan, I'm uh, very pleased that you could spend some time with me every time I turn around. You're on CNBC this week, Fox Business. It's nice to see you. I'm, um, you know, I'm glad you could fit me into your busy schedule. You know, Bob, it's a tough life, the the life of a celebrity like myself. But I do try to fit in my father. Well, it's so true that uh, what they say that you got your looks from your mom. <laughs> they always said you had a face for radio, Bob. I sure do, buddy. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> but our listeners have not seen your great head of hair, so uh, they don't really know how handsome Bob Payne is. All right. Well, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about knowing thyself. When it comes to financial planning, you need to objectively look at your strengths and weaknesses. Bob and I are going to discuss what objective questions you need to be asking yourself. We're going to talk about good news, bad news when it comes to your investment portfolio. Bob and I are going to discuss when the bad news outweighs the good, along with this week's financial pornography, a lot of crazy, wacky stuff out there in the news that we want you to avoid at all costs. And for our spotlight segment today, we have my brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne, for an all pain, no pain, no gain radio show. He's going to talk about a real retirement case he worked on this week and some of the mistakes this couple is making with their planning so you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. Let's hop right to it. Bob, Socrates once said, the unexamined life is not worth living. And when it comes to financial planning, it is critical to examine yourself by pondering some of these important questions. What would be some of the answers you might have to these questions if you really reflected on them? And the first one that comes to mind, Bob, is what financial issues do I really worry about? What keeps me up at night? Well, I can tell you, Rye, this week, the three things that people have been worried about, not necessarily keeping them up at night, but have been the rise in interest rates or you know the fear of inflation, a trade war, or uh, the collapse of Facebook. So they have been the three issues most, I think, uh, front and center for people over the last two weeks. But that's not really what's keeping people up at night. When it comes to their finances, it's really a kind of a double-edged sword. You know, number one, they worry about, will I be able to retire? And then, then when you are retired, that the other big concern is, will I be able to stay retired? That's right. You know, and that's the thing. That's what we talk about: continually updating your wealth plan. It's not mm-hmm. enough to just sit down, run some numbers, you know, plug in your plan and hope for the best. You continually have to look at where you are, especially now, Bob. I mean, you could be retired for like 30 years. A lot of adjustments need to be made along the way to make sure that you are secure in your retirement. The other thing is you realize that you're living longer and your biggest fear is, will I outlive my money because of medical expenses? You know, you are scared to death of becoming a burden on your children. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, and that's one of the bigger problems we have today, I mean, if we want to call it a problem is it's good news. We're living longer, but if we live longer, we're going to need money for a longer period of time. And then there's a higher risk that you are going to have a health issue and that's going to be very costly and come from your portfolio. Now, Bob, you know, if you drain all your assets, you're in a better position than most because my couch has your name on it. (laughs) I slept on that couch, son. And and as a result, I sat down and, and made sure that my wealth projections are spot on because that's not where I'm headed. (laughs) <laughs> Another question that's really critical that you need to be asking yourself is, what do I really desire the most financially speaking? Well, I think everybody has what I call the four great goals of life. And that number one great goal is a lifetime of income you can't outlive. And that's, I think, the most um, financially speaking is what people desire the most. Yeah, And I think the big mistake that I see that you're making right now is, 
is I had a client, for instance, call me this past week and say, you know, man, the S&P 500 was up 20% last year. I was only up 10%. And, you know, I thought for a minute there, wait a second here. You have a very, very conservative portfolio that's generating a lot of current income that essentially should keep you set for the rest of your life. There's no reason to take unnecessary risk like market risk because if that market pulls back, that's really going to ruin this great retirement uh, you know, portfolio that we built for you. So I, I think a lot of times, Bob, we, we get lost with what the market's doing, what the financial pornography is saying, and not focusing on how our portfolio is built for our goals. That happens to you, right? You think there and you say, well, why am I invested? I want to make money. Uh, I remember back in my Merrill Lynch days, I was in my mentor's office, a fellow named Arthur Zeichel, brilliant strategist, and the CEO of the firm came in. And just in general conversation, he said, uh, so why are you invested? And he said, well, because I want to make money. And Arthur said, well, that's not a goal. Making money is not a goal. He said, why do you need to make money? He said, what are you, crazy? Because you think I want to do this the rest of my life? I want to retire. Hey, bingo, there's a goal. And, yeah. and that's why you know you can take the stress away by having a process-driven strategy like you use for your clients. Yeah, and I think that's what it comes down to. It's you're not comparing what your portfolio's done versus a benchmark versus what the quote unquote market's done. It's about comparing your portfolio to what your goals are. Is your portfolio doing what it needs to do for you to achieve your goals? And I see that as one of the biggest mistakes you make when you're building your portfolio and when you're comparing your portfolio to, you know, whatever did best this year. It can drive you insane, Bob. Well, it can drive you insane, but it also can drive you to the poorhouse. Just think about all those Merrill Lynch executives who didn't invest based on a plan. They invested on a plan of making money. So they kept all their money in Merrill Lynch stock. Stock went up for 70 years, right? Had a great track record until one day it was wiped out. So you had millions, hundreds of millions of dollars lost from the supposedly the smartest people on Wall Street who didn't invest based on goals, who invested based on making money. Yeah, I call that a buzzkill, Bob. <laughs> See <laughs> my net worth <laughs> basically yeah, disappear yeah. in a matter of a couple of months. And the reality of it is that, that can happen. And if you're thinking to yourself, I'm taking too much risk with my portfolio. I don't have a plan that's tied into my goals. I'm not generating the income I should be for a real wealth plan. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $250,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do this with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we analyze everything. So if you bring in all of your statements, no matter where they're held at whatever financial institutions, we're going to load everything into one personalized financial portal for you, one login, and we're going to look at everything holistically. We're going to do a full portfolio x-ray. We're going to look at all the critical components. We're going to look at income. Income is critical for retirement and more reliable than market fluctuations. Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio. Bob and I are going to break down all the costs, all the fees, and see if we can reduce the amount you pay on your portfolio annually. And we're going to look at diversification. What risk do you have in your portfolio? Are you in trouble the next time the market pulls back? We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio and build a portfolio that's based on your goals. And then finally, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine, are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text us or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200,000 for your personal retirement, our team will run for you your own total financial master plan, no obligation, no cost. Just have to call or text 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Ryan Payne. We're the Paynes of No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. 
and I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Officer of Payne Capital Management. And the best thing I can say about this week was it was the last week of March, which was a down month. And it was the last week of the first quarter of 2018, which also didn't go so well. But even with the down first quarter, the S&P is still up over 18% on a total return basis, since January of 2017. And so far this year, it's just down a little over 2%. So while the market worries about trade wars, inflation, interest rates, and the sins of Facebook, corporations just keep on minting money. In fact, profits for the first quarter are expected to run at the highest rate in seven years as companies begin to reap the benefits of tax breaks, improving consumer confidence, and synchronized global economic growth. Now, remember, the key to successful investing is to buy low or to at least buy at a reasonable price. And when the S&P 500 traded at its recent low of 2533, if S&P earnings estimates for 2018 are anywhere near the mark, the S&P was trading at less than 15 times forward earnings. Now, to put that in perspective, that's below the 25-year average of 16 times earnings on a forward basis. So still good earnings and profit strength may not quell or reduce recent market volatility. Matter of fact, the next few months may continue to be as volatile as this past quarter. However, with positive tailwinds of solid global growth, capital spending, strong employment, increasing household medium income, and strong housing demand, based on this information, I believe the dips will be temporary, as all dips in history have been temporary and therefore should be bought, and new highs inevitable. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio built to win? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? Text or call us at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Hi, I'm a soon-to-be-retired mom. I'm also a grandmother, and as much as I enjoy visiting with my grandchildren, I'd like to be able to head home at the end of the weekend. I also want to make sure that they get a top-notch education one day. And of course, I want to look out for myself as well. With the proper financial plan in place, I can accomplish all of those goals. What about you? What are you doing to prepare for retirement? Make sure your family is cared for in retirement. And please, don't turn your weekend family visits into a permanent vacation. Schedule a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Take control of your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I have put together our latest online course, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, eliminate the confusion and uncertainty around retirement planning and gain a greater confidence 
You can check it out. You can download our course for free if you simply text the word bullish. That's B U L L I S H to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. We're going to give you a nice baseline to start the retirement planning process. You can check it out by simply texting the word bullish to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Check it out at 555 888. Text the word bullish to 555 888. And in this segment, we want to talk about good times, or rather good news, bad news. I'm thinking good times, bad times, one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs. But anyway, in this segment, Bob, let's explain why the good news in these statements might not exactly be good enough to offset the bad news. As most people prefer, we'll give you the bad news first. So the first one is, Bob, the bad news is that this mutual fund hasn't performed very well but the good news is the fees are really, really low. Well, first of all, Ry, that's a very loaded statement because sometimes you might have a, a mutual fund or a portfolio that's performing poorly because that segment of the market that it's invested in is performing poorly. But you know what I find? No matter how low the fee is in a mutual fund, the market is smarter than everybody out there. So do you know any managers, net of their fee, net of their commissions, net of the taxes you pay, right, that outperform the underlying index of investment they're trying to beat? Well, statistically, it's almost impossible. You know, if you look at the 15-year data on most professional managers and mutual funds, I think about 85 to 90% of underperformed just owning an index. They're really lousy odds, Bob. (laughs) They're really lousy odds. And, you know, I've said, I've read a lot of academic research about this, right, and what they found or the very few that actually outperformed over a 20-year period, they still to this day can't figure out if they were smart or just plain lucky. Well, I'd rather be lucky than good, and I suspect some of these managers feel the same way. You know, one of the great ironies to a lot of fund investing is typically the lower cost investment outperforms just because there's less fees coming out of the portfolio, where you would think, if I'm going to pay a higher fee, I should get higher performance, In investing, that's very rarely the case. That's a lot of the reason why a lot of hedge fund managers end up not doing well over time because their fees are just so freaking high. Well, you know, it reminds you of that old movie where uh, Clint Eastwood comes up and says, hey, do you feel lucky, punk? You know, I don't (laughs) want somebody saying to me, do you feel lucky about how well your portfolio is going to do? You know, the one way to put the odds in your favor is to reduce the cost and taxes anywhere you can. It's that simple. Well, that's a good point. That's another reason why mutual funds are a bad deal because they're not tax efficient. They have to pay out capital gains at the end of the year. So my question to you is, why do you still own mutual funds? Get on the bus. (laughs) That's old school. Exchange traded funds are new school. Next uh, good news, bad news, Bob, is the bad news is that your portfolio just lost 40%, but the good news is that it'll come back eventually. (laughs) You know, Ry, I know when you look at your statement, you start to think, you know, I'm really brave when we have a a market like we did last year where it goes up every single month. I mean, 12 months in a row without even a 3% decline is so unusual, but it also makes you very brave. You tend to predict the future based on your most recent experience. So if the market's up, you become very bullish. The market's down, you become very bearish. So when you warn someone that you have a portfolio that could decline 40 to 50%, the market's been up recently. They're going to think you, you're talking with three different heads. Yeah, that's right. And I think right now you have more risk than ever because the market has done well. And if I look at your portfolio, there's a good chance you really haven't made the adjustments you need to to make it retirement ready. You still have the same portfolio you had back in 2008 when the market collapsed. And that was great. 2008 was 10 years ago and you had 10 years to make it back up. But the reality of it is, you're 10 years closer to retirement or you're in retirement now, if you have that same 40% decline like we did 10 years ago, it's not going to be as easy because you could wait a long time to recover that money and you're more dependent on it now than you were then. It's really a generational problem. You know, If you're my generation, Ry, you can't afford to have a portfolio that can have a 40% decline. You know, If you're Chris's generation, if you're a millennial, you know, like your brother or your sister, 
you know, they should have a portfolio that can have a 40, 50% decline because they can absorb that. Gives them the opportunity as they make more money to invest more. They want actually the market to go down. I mean, since the day you were born, all of you, you, your brother, your sister, I told you, don't, don't pray for bull markets, pray for bear markets. Hope that every time you invest a dollar, the market's lower than the last time you invested that dollar. Now, when do you want the market to go up? When you're my age, you want it to go straight up. Hmm. And that's how you create the most wealth is you get the most amount of shares while you're investing and you get the biggest return when you need it. Yeah. And that's another reason why you need to start converting your your portfolio to more income driven as you get closer to retirement so that you're not dependent on those swings in the market. You know, it's it's fine if the market has a decline, if you're protected, if your portfolio is structured right. And if your portfolio is income driven, it's going to be less relevant. So there are critical tweaks that you need to make as you move from what we call the wealth accumulation stage and traverse into what we call the wealth distribution stage. And now's the time to do it. When the wind's at your back, that's when you make adjustments. You don't wait for the market to pull back because when you do that, Bob, it's always too late. Always too late. Yeah, you want to be proactive, right? That's for sure. Yeah. The last statement, Bob, on the good news, bad news front would be the bad news is that you don't have enough money to pay for your nursing home. But good news is, Medicaid's going to step in. Now, that's a big misconception. You think that the government will take care of you if you run out of money. Well, you literally have to run out of money. You have to be out of everything. You have to be penniless in order for Medicaid to step in. And then you're in the worst facility possible you know, for the rest of your life. Now, if you think the government does a good job of taking care of you, think about how well it worked out for the American Indian, right? Yeah, that's, that's a great point. And the other thing to think about is, what are you doing with the retirement projections? Are you factoring in medical costs in retirement? If you're not doing that, you could have a tremendous hit on your portfolio and that could jeopardize your lifestyle. So I urge you when you're running those retirement projections, make sure you're factoring in healthcare costs in retirement because that is going to be one of your biggest enemies. That cost of living going up and also taxation. So all those things need to be accounted for in your plan because you know, waiting for Medicaid to kick in is not a great plan. And not even living on my couch, Bob, is a great plan. So these are things you really need to, to make sure that are inside your financial plan. That's the biggest reason you should sit down with us. Just look at the person you're sitting next to. Do you want to be their caregiver for the rest of your life? Or do you want to enjoy your life in retirement? That's the biggest reason why you need to have a plan to adjust for inflation, adjust for medical costs. And if you're thinking, I haven't done that type of planning, and I really should, you know, why procrastinate? Now's the time to act. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for retirement, my son and I will prepare for you a total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but if you call or text, here's what you can expect. You're going to get a full holistic review. You're going to know where you are now at your point A and whether you're going to be able to achieve all your point B goals. We're going to look at everything. We're going to have our CPA partner review your most recent tax return. You know, you just lost a lot of deductions. You probably haven't factored that into your income needs in the future. We wanna be certain that you're gonna achieve all of your financial goals. Let's look at your legal docs. Let's make sure your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. Bring us your wills, bring us your trust. You know, it costs thousands of dollars to get that review. We're gonna do it at no obligation or no cost for you. And lastly, let's put all those investment statements into a shopping bag get on the phone, come over and see us. We're going to do a full portfolio x-ray. We're going to make sure that you're properly protected. We're going to look at the three core elements of a successful portfolio. True diversification, fees, and income. You know, income is something that you need more of in retirement. You need more dependable income. You can't buy lunch with relative performance. Fees, there are so many hidden costs and in investments. People are overcharging themselves. There's no reason to. We're going to reveal those hidden costs that are buried deep in that insurance contract or in that mutual fund prospectus. And lastly, we're going to do a full wealth projection to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has now been perfecting for over 40 years. That's correct. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your point A to your point B to your goals to your dreams with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. 
So don't waste time. Call us now or text 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we have 10 slots left. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Get the full holistic review at 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, financial radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages in how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what'd you find out in this week in egregious financial pornography? So, Rob, I actually found an article this week that I thought was more instructive than egregious. Shocking. <laughs> what did you yeah, find? Shocking, yes. Because usually there's got some crazy information out there. But I thought this information was actually helpful. And it was entitled, Momentum Investors Beware. See, what happens in a big, booming bull market like we've had for the last 10 years, you don't want to settle for market returns, even though they've been fantastic. So, they look for edges. And the big edge you've looked for recently has been momentum. And that's simply buying growth over value. That's the, you know, big growth stocks have outperformed over the last 12 months. So guess where all the new money's been pouring in since January, right? I'm going to guess it's all going to growth stocks. You know, your proverbial FAMGA trade, right? Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and uh, Google. And Netflix. Don't forget Netflix. Oh, Netflix. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're seeing, uh, and it, there's even a fund that's uh, called a momentum fund that focuses on stocks that are moving up on a relative basis. Well, that's great. While the you know, it's it's almost like the musical chairs. It's wonderful when the music's playing, but when the music stops, you know, all of a sudden you can't find a chair because your chair's gone. In other words, the, the stocks that you thought were going to outperform start underperforming. Just like the '90s, right? We have value stocks underperforming. Now, these are types of stocks that a guy like Warren Buffett eats up every day, yields are going up, their dividends are being increased, they're underperforming relative to growth. Boy, what do you think the smart investors should be putting their money right now? I mean, get a diversified. I think a good example of that, Bob, was you talk about the music stopping is look at Facebook last week, right? Out of the blue, the stock went down at close to uh, 15% in a matter of days. So it's just, you don't know when the music's going to stop and it feels so good and easy to put money there when the market's going up into that momentum per se. But to your point, you need you need to spread the money out. You need to own things like value stocks in your portfolio. You need to diversify globally. So it's important to know what your diversification really looks like. And just having a lot of different fund names in your portfolio doesn't mean you're properly diversified. Yeah, it just preaches what makes the most sense. Patience over greed. I mean, that's every patient investor makes money. The greedy investor loses almost 100% of the time. That's right. And that's why it's so critical to understand where all your money's allocated and where your new money's going. Because invariably, if you're saving right now, you want to have your money going into things that are the best value, not what's hot right now. So that's, that's an important point to think about. I found some interesting financial pornography this week, Bob. Oh, do tell. <laughs> Is Trump shorting the stock market? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jim Cramer, the host of Mad Money, suggested on his show last week that Trump might be deliberately crashing the markets 
with his call for tariffs on Chinese products because he is right now betting against the market because he's more of a businessman than a politician. So the thought here is he's putting these tariffs in place. He's making bets or what we call shorts against the market. So he profits when the market goes down. What do you think about that, Bob? <laughs> well, I think it's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. I mean, I remember back in 87, 1987, 1987 that is. <laughs> the two-day bear market. And uh, Donald Trump was on national TV as everybody lost 35% in their stock portfolio, saying that he was out of the market. As it turned out, he never owned any stock. So he didn't lie, but he, <laughs> he told it in a way that you thought maybe he timed the market. But he doesn't invest in the stock market. And he's said that many, many times. He's never owned stocks. He's a real estate guy, and he's always been putting his money in land. So well, to I think, think that... The president of the United States, who has to work out of a blind trust, would be shorting the market is above ludicrous. Well, I think the the more important point here is, and this is talking about the noise going on right now, is the focus has been on tariffs this past week and how these tariffs or a trade war is going to be spurred on, and that's going to really hurt the economy and the market. But if you look at it, let's be realistic here. The U.S. and China, they don't want a trade war. In fact, even after both sides announced tariffs last week, they already were compromising on what those tariffs are really going to look like. So I think you know one of these detriments to get invested right now is what's going on geopolitically. And I think that's some of the noise you really need to avoid right now because you know as we talk about, Bob, we kind of have this magical time here in the economy and the markets where we've got global synchronized growth around the world, right? We've got low unemployment. And you know, in addition to that, we have low interest rates. I mean, it doesn't really get better than this if you look at it from an economic standpoint and an investing standpoint. Well, I love it when people freak out after a correction, right? A correction. We were just down 10% from the highs. Now, I'm not talking about high, right? I'm talking about an all-time record high in the history of the world. We're down 10% and people are looking for reasons to freak out. It's an opportunity and in a well-balanced portfolio, you always win if you're patient. That's right. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a portfolio that is built on my goals, not on financial pornography, not on what tariffs we may or may not be putting in place this week. Here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you give us a call and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It is a full holistic review. If you bring in all of your financial statements, if you bring in your wills, your trusts, and last year's tax return. We'll actually have one of our CPA partners review the tax return. We'll actually have our estate planner review those wills and trusts, make sure they're up to date. And then what we'll do is we'll take all your financial statements and we're going to load them into a personalized portal for you, one login, and we're going to review everything on a holistic level. We're going to do a full portfolio x-ray. That means we're going to look at the income on your portfolio Can we increase or optimize the income on your portfolio for retirement? Income is critical in retirement. You need to make sure you're not relying on market fluctuations. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden fees in financial products. What about those annuities, mutual funds, different structured products you may own? We're going to show you all the hidden costs in your portfolio are and show you how to reduce the fees on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? Were you overweighted in Facebook? Do you have a portfolio that's bulletproof? Do you have a portfolio that's retirement ready and is protected against the next downturn? And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together and determine for you, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is text us or call 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your personal retirement. Our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. No obligation, no cost. Just text us or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio.
We told you earlier that Bob Payne is the Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. This means he oversees all of the portfolio designs and financial planning strategies for the firm. For 40 years, he's worked to change the way the financial industry approaches financial planning. He turned away from the traditional Wall Street sales pitch and pioneered a new approach to retirement planning using goal-oriented, customizable plans that better fit your individual needs. Reach out to Bob and the team for a complimentary review by calling or texting 844 Seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. If you want to be healthy, you have to eat right, hit the gym, and vary your training. If you want to have good financial health, you need to save, invest, and strategize to get your desired outcome. Keep listening to No Pain, No Gain, and we'll keep you financially fit. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, and Bob and I have released our newest educational online course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. You can download it for free. You simply need to text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. Eliminate the confusion and uncertainty around retirement planning and gain greater confidence by simply downloading our course at 555-888. Text the word bullish to 555-888. It's just a great baseline to get you started, to get you retirement ready. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And every week you can check me out on Fox Business News. I'm on with Stuart Varney every Tuesday at 11. And I'll give you some insights to the markets. And if you want to know more about myself and Bob, you can always check us out on the great World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com, and you can see just how magnificent Bob's hair really is. And you can also subscribe to our show. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will directly answer any of your questions. And of course, if it's a really good question, we're going to answer it right here on the show. And like every week, Bob... We got some pretty good questions. The first one comes in from Martin. He's in Short Hills, New Jersey. He writes in, Bob, I'm about to get married this summer. It'll be a second marriage for both of us. Are there any financial issues I should be thinking about before entering into a second marriage like this? Hey, right. It's interesting because Martin is like one in five Americans who's said I do twice or more times in his lifetime. You know, that's two times more than you. (laughs) That is two times more than me. No comment. All right. Well, since I've been married over 40 years, I think I can give Martin some good advice. See, first of all, you have old habits and you combine that with your new spouse's old habits. I'll tell you what, that can wreck a marriage very, very quickly. You know, what are some of the things that do you think Martin should be thinking about, Rye, entering into a marriage with possibly debt, you know, financial overhang, other arrangements, other children, a lot of things to talk about here. Yeah, in my experience, we do have quite a few clients that are on second marriages. And I think the easiest way is keep your finances separate. You know, a good old fashioned prenup makes a lot of Ooh. sense to me, Bob. That's the number one thing. I think that should be the first step any couple takes when they enter into any marriage, especially a second marriage, especially if you're bringing substantial assets to the table. Yeah, because if you're the one who has more to lose, it can get very, very complicated really quickly. And even if you don't, I think it's just your point, Bob, you have habits that you get into, you have ways of managing your finances, and you're really adding a layer of complexity by trying to commingle those assets with your new spouse who may have completely different views about money. And you know, you want to keep, hopefully you want to stay married that second time. This is just a recipe for disaster if you're deciding to commingle those assets. So I think Brian, that's an excellent point. Just because you have an old financial strategy that worked, it doesn't mean it's going to work in a new relationship, right? You may have had a certain budgeting strategy or you may have certain spending styles that don't mesh with your new spouse or your new spouse doesn't mesh with the way you think things should be done. The other thing that becomes complicated is kids. You know, who's going to oh. hurt what? And I can tell you if that stuff is not laid out ahead of time, it can get very messy with the heirs of your new spouse, your heirs. Does your new spouse get the money if you pass? So all those things need to be worked out. You need to make that trip over to the estate planner, 
ASAP, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that's the um, the prenup agreement should cover that. And you also, you can't keep your financial cards too close to the chest. You got to be very honest and upfront. You don't want any surprises, you know, after the nuptials. Yes. So, Martin, you hear us? <laughs> we have we have a name for you, an estate planner, if you need it in Jersey. So let us know. Second question comes in from Thomas. He's in Radnor, PA. He writes in Ryan. I'm being forced into an early retirement at 57 from my job with the state. I'll have my pension, but that won't be enough to live on. Do I need to find another job since I'm too young for Social Security or to withdraw from my IRAs? Well, it sounds like this is what Income Planning 101, Bob, is all about. It's finding where that gap is and how do you fill it. So for for Thomas, sounds like he's got his pension, but he's got a gap here before he can take Social Security. And even worse... You have to be 59 and a half before you can take your IRA, or do you? Well, this is classic, Ra. You have somebody who is thinking, I don't have enough money to retire on. Why would you wonder when you could know? Why not have that wealth projection run net of inflation and taxation to see if you are in a financial shape to retire? Why make those decisions in a vacuum? Why not be an informed investor? Yeah, and what a lot of us don't know is there's a little rule, the IRS 72T rule, that gives some exceptions for early retirees to actually take money out of your IRA without penalty before 59 and a half. So there are ways to tap into your money before even what we would call normal retirement age. Yeah, right. And you couple that analysis with a Social Security withdrawal. He doesn't necessarily have to take Social Security at 62. It may make sense to take the money from the IRA and it, it keeps them in the lower bracket to take Social Security at 66 or even 70. There's so many options. There's so many what-if scenarios that Thomas could run where he can make an informed decision on exactly what to do next. Man, oh man, Bob, this gets complicated quick. <laughs> it's actually simple when you plug the numbers in and you play what-if, right? It's so simple. It just takes a, a little bit of time you know, to make the appointment to make these things happen. Yeah, and that's the beauty of just getting financially organized and when we create our financial 360 portal for you where you log into one place, one login, see everything, and then start to make some of these more complex decisions. You know, Ryan, I mean, that's a great point. And now Thomas, he sounds like he's almost financially organized, but on a scale of one to 10, what do you find that people tell you when you ask that question? Are you financially organized? Bob, if we be honest and real with ourselves, we're usually like a three. We're not very good at being financially organized. No, I find that so true, Ryan. And, and, and when you ask people, well, where would you like to be You know, in an ideal world? I'd like to be an 11. <laughs> well, we only go up to 10, but that's like giving 150%, right? You can only give 100%, but why not be an 11? And if you'd like to rank at least a 10 in your financial life, uh, if you'd like to have all of your financial documents and data organized and simplified, all you have to do is be one of their next few callers. See, if you've saved over 200000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. Now, this means all of your account numbers, passwords, security questions for every bank account, brokerage account, insurance policy, credit card, mortgage. That's virtually everything with a statement and online access can be simplified and organized into one simple financial portal. Just think, wouldn't it be amazing to be financially organized? Something happened to you, it would be so easy for your children or your spouse just to keep your life working or transitioning your financial affairs in a worst case scenario. If you're one of the next few callers, here's what we're going to do for you. We're gonna review your tax return with our CPA partner. We're gonna review all of your legal documents and be certain that your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we're gonna look at all your investment statements then do a full portfolio x-ray to make sure that you're properly protected and that you have the three core elements of a successful portfolio, diversification, fees, and income. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one customized 360 financial portal, utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years. We want to take your family from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like paying capital management and provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Be one of the next few callers if you have over 200,000 saved for retirement. Call or text us now at 844-752-6692. 
9-2. That's 844-752-6692. Get the full holistic review. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I are simple men, and we like to keep it simple for you. That's why we put together our newest online course, What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, eliminate the confusion and uncertainty around retirement planning, and gain a greater confidence. You can download the course for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, to 555-888. It'll give you a nice baseline to start the retirement planning process. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. Check out our new online course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Can't Outlive. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And now it's time for my favorite segment of the show, our spotlight segment. Each week we dissect a real financial plan and uncover the flaws or what we call pain points, that's P-A-Y-N-E, so you can avoid the same mistakes with your planning and investing. And we have a very special guest on the show this morning, my brother, Bob's son, Chris All-Star Payne. I just made that up this morning. Good morning, Chris. Glad you think I'm an all-star. It's the first thing that came to mind, Chris. We got suns and stars today. This is a great day for Payne Capital Management. Chris, you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you give us the rundown on this couple's retirement plan and some of the, the flaws or uh, you know, some of the things you need to dissect and fix for them? Yeah, sure, right. So this is a long-term existing client of mine, and they just recently retired back in January. Hey, Chris, so I remember sat- when her father retired uh, when I did the planning for her dad. That's pretty amazing. Multi-generations here at work. Yeah, but it's making um, me feel really old. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it, Bob. You, you still great, got Bob. it. Thank you. So we sat down, as we do every year, and ran through their entire financial plan. And of course, this year was a really big year because it was the first year that this particular gentleman was going to be retired. And the big fear that they had was, you know, Chris, are we going to have enough money in retirement to maintain the lifestyle that we've come accustomed to? So what we did is we sat down, we ran through the entire financial plan, you know, looked at everything that they have coming in, pension, social security, looked at all their existing assets. And one of the things I noticed is that they have a deferred comp that he had that he'd been contributing to at his job. And that was sitting outside of what we were managing. So I said, hey, why don't we take a look you know, and make sure that this particular portfolio is properly invested. So what we did was we did a comparison of that portfolio versus what we would look at. And the big concern that they had up front was, you know, Chris, the portfolio, the deferred comp portfolio is doing really well. It's really growing. We don't really want to move it because it's done so well. So one of the things I noticed right off the bat is that they're taking a lot of risk in this portfolio. This portfolio is almost 100% in stock. Now, when you're getting to that point where you're depending on this portfolio for your income, you don't want to be taking that kind of risk. It's a good so point, Chris, Bob. Did you analyze what would have happened to that portfolio had we had another 2008? As a matter of fact, I did, Bob. And actually, this portfolio would have been down close to 40% back in Ouch. 2008. Well, that'll painful. give you some gray hair in retirement. And we talked exactly. about this earlier on the show. It's just having that one individual stock risk. Like uh, a lot of our colleagues at Merrill Lynch saw their net worth basically go to zero. That's a whole That's point. A- I mean, it's um, when you're transitioning your life, you have to transition your portfolio. You know, when you when you go to work every day and you have income, you can replace any temporary loss. But when you're retired, you certainly don't want to put on that apron and become a greeter at the Home Depot, do you, Chris? Absolutely not. 
And that's one of the things that I showed them. You know, I showed them that the thing that we really get caught up on is how much our portfolio is growing, but more importantly in retirement, it's the amount of income that your portfolio can generate. Mm -hmm. So what I did was a very simple comparison, showed them what they have today versus what we would propose. And it's pretty amazing the results. So not only are we taking a substantial amount of risk off the table, adding more money into more you know, fixed instruments like bonds, we're able to increase their annual income by almost $6,000 a year. Yeah, that's substantial. That's absolutely substantial. And if you look at that over a 20 year period, that's almost $150,000 that they're compounding. Yeah, and well, that's the thing. $150,000 balance, that's a substantial return. I mean, people forget that compounding is really the magic. Yeah, we get so focused on the market going up and down. But if you look at stocks specifically, historically, almost half your return just comes from the dividends that pay out annually. And that's the analysis that I like here, Chris, that you did is you look at, okay, Here's what I have coming in in retirement income. I have my Social Security. Maybe if I'm lucky, I have a pension. Uh, I may have a couple of annuities that are creating income. And then I have to look at what's that gap between what I used to make and what do I still have to make up. And if you build your portfolio right, you can create a portfolio that generates enough current income, never touching the principal. And the nice thing about a, a diversified portfolio, the income actually increases over time. It doesn't stay stagnant that you know you can put yourself in a really really good position and you're not that dependent on if the market's going up or down. I mean that's that's so key. And yeah, right, you know, that's why the wealth projection is so important because it lays out basically a roadmap of everything that's going to be coming in retirement and then you can just simply show, you know, where the gaps are and where those gaps need to be filled. Chris, that's I'm it. looking at that cash flow, you know, portfolio value that shows their income going up, net of inflation, net of taxes, even with an increase in their spending every year. This couple could get up every morning and decide, well, what are we going to do? We're going to go sailing today. We're going to go fishing, go go to the beach. They're certainly not going to get up every day. Oh, we better watch CNBC to see what happens to the market because they don't have to worry about anything because of this projection that you update every year. They don't have to think about money at any time. Now, Chris, how did they feel after you put this in front of them and showed them that essentially you can generate enough current income? They're not going to be just dependent on the market swings. I mean, what was what was the feeling on their end when you put a plan like this together? You know what, Rod? They were really blown away because they, they honestly felt in their minds, even though I've told them this for a long time, that they would have to cut spending in retirement. And the reality is, is that they can continue to maintain the same exact lifestyle they have today without the stress of going back to work. Yeah. Now, I don't have that stress either because Bob just told me that he thinks I should get all the inheritance as opposed to you. So I think you're going to have to keep working and I'm going to start doing my sailing and relaxing now. So what's changed? <laughs> well, what's changed, guys, is you're both cut out. Your sister's getting everything. So um, I'm going to get off right now and give her a call, give her the good news. <laughs> <laughs> well, great job on this case, Chris. I mean, this is, this is the exact type of analysis that's so powerful when it comes to retirement. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a roadmap for retirement I need to generate current income to fill in my gap for retirement. Here's your shot to get the full analysis. We have a few slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, my brother, Bob, will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. If you bring in all of your different statements, your financial statements, your insurance statements, annuities, we're going to analyze everything. In fact, we're going to build you your own personalized custom portal so we have a bird's eye view and we can do a full portfolio x-ray. We're going to look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at risk. Do you have proper diversification? Are you protected against the next market downturn? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. We're going to point them out and show you how to reduce cost. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement. We're able to re increase this couple's income by another 6000 a year, giving them a stream of income in retirement so they don't have to tap into their principal. Can we optimize the income for you? And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together and put that roadmap together and determine, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, do you have a strategy where your money's going to outlive you Utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text us or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, 
will create for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation, there's no cost, there's no strings attached, but you need to text us or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, gents, pain boys, another great show this morning. Chris, thanks for being on the uh, the show this morning, brother. Brian, as always, it's always a pleasure to be here with you and Dad. Magical is the word I would use. Well, Chris, this is another uh, total financial masterpiece on your part. Just uh, would you put one together for me because um, I'm a little bit younger than this couple, but I think I'm ready to join them in retirement. <laughs> I would never let you do that, Dad. <laughs> oh, well, well, forget that idea. <laughs> well, have a great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.